All right, all right, all right. Um, man, what a great match. That 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 match with uh Kenny Omega and Brian Danielson didn't disappoint. And I know people probably like, yo, can we get a finish? I love the finish because remember, it's Brian Danielson's first match in the company. And I feel like what is what AEW does really, really well, and I, I think better than WWE in this point, is that long-term storytelling. Now I praise the WWE. For what they did on Monday with uh, the New Day and the Bloodline, the 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 uh, the six man tag, and even the way that that wrapped up and led to the triple threat later. But my only gripe with that is I I feel like that was multiple weeks, multiple shows. That might have been multiple months worth of storylines that you blew through. We got the start of a storyline and we got its next development immediately following. The match was tremendous. They did a great job. One I thought it was. I, I like the idea of putting it on first because it made the women's title match at the end special. Um, and it, and it, and it gets, it gets you hooked in right away. And I was locked in uh, for that match. And I love the slow build into the final, like 10, uh, 10 to 12 minutes. I, I just thought it was an absolutely brilliant match and the finish, which was essentially a non-finish. And I love that they went to a time limit draw and it wasn't like, Daniel Bryan was on top of him, and it was one, two, bell rings. Oh, if he had one more second, he would have won. No, I like that they were beating the crap out of each other uh, when the 30-minute marker hit. Because that led you to believe, dude, these dudes are so evenly matched. This is this this match could go on forever. And what I loved even more was what 20 minutes later, maybe not, maybe 10 minutes later. Kenny Omega goes to Twitter. And this is another thing that AEW does really well that WWE in, in they have a different approach with social media. Like you'll see, you know, uh, a, a storyline on television, but the two are, you know, hanging out, taking pictures together, you know, on Instagram. But with AEW, they got, they got their crew and the young bucks are brilliant at this working storylines on social media and Kenny Omega tweets, there will be no rematch. Oh, I thought that was so great because we want it. Like we want to see it again. We want to see that match again, but Daniel Bryan is new. That wasn't a title match last night, which again, I think was smart. And now you, now you start to build, now you start to build Daniel Bryan's storyline, which is, it's what you got to do with punk. Like when they followed up that match with a punk interview, it was kind of like, <sighs> I get you're building up Punk's first television match, which I'm excited for on Friday, but it's also, I'm tired of seeing Punk talk. Like, I, I need Punk involved in a story, and I get, there's there's so many different things happening. You, slow, 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 but we got to get Punk involved in a storyline that builds out, like Team Taz is in a storyline, like it's getting paid off tomorrow. Or maybe you run through a couple of the other guys. Maybe that's his initial storyline. Maybe I just need to be patient. Uh, but the overall show, I thought was really good. I got some questions about Cody Rhodes. We'll save that for a different episode. But that match with Brian Danielson and, and, and Kenny Omega was flawless.